What's up everybody? This is Guy Garrett and we are back with a brand new video and we're playing, well, we're not even really playing the video game today because we are talking about Players Unknown Battleground August 1st update on the video game. There's a bunch of different things to be talked about so I thought we should talk about it since I've been playing that game quite a lot and they got this whole big old list. This whole big old list right here of the update of August 1st. Would this be considered like a vlog video? No. No? No. And I got my girlfriend right behind me. She's just chilling. She's chilling in the bed. Say what's up. Okay, I guess she's not saying what's up. <laughs> she's just gonna laugh back there. But today, we will look at what we have updated in our fourth monthly update that's how they start the thing off it's, it's all nice so it looks like we have some new clothing yeah clothing's all right i mean it's cool it's whatever new skins new different things like that it's it's all good so but we want to know the main stuff of the patch wow. notes but we have the server optimization that's always nice optimize the fence do uh doors and windows vehicle physics thank god they optimize the vehicle physics because the uaz is like i don't know it's like a, a rolling death machine if it touches anything it kills it like it's ridiculous but the new items we have in this one added a new weapon the mk14 ebr mk14 ebr is the designated marksman rifle that can only be obtained from care packages these care packages weapons are not all nice and whatnot but i want new weapons i could obtain through the world without having to risk my life to go to a, a package thing and there's uh, 20 other people looking at it so That'd be nice, but that's cool though. Uh, the weapon is going to be chambered with 7.62 ammo, which is really nice because that means it'll uh, pack a punch and it gives more variety for the 7.62. So, good stuff. And again, with the skins, uh, they added two new face presets and hairstyles to characters. I heard somebody say uh, the black preset or the African-American preset character looks like Mario Balotelli. It's a, it's a soccer player, but yeah. Shout out to my, my boy, J-Dub's favorite soccer player. The god, the Italian god himself, basically. That's why Jacob would call him. But we move to the gameplay. Added first person server options to North America and Europe solo and duo game modes. That's pretty insane right there. Just because that's going to be a whole new opening for this game. Because you was used to the third persons. But now you're moving over to the first persons. And now you think you had to be aware in third person. But now you really had to be aware. Like that's pretty crazy. Like imagine like you being able to see everywhere with third person. But... Now you gotta know where everything is is in first person. Not Call of Duty. What do you think about that? That'd be cool. It'll be harder like that. Yeah, I already seen some like test servers being played on it, and it looks insane. It's gonna be crazy to see some final circles. Uh, I think it's gonna be a lot calmer. I don't think it's going to be ag aggressive. I think people are going to be scared and just stay in rooms because they don't know what there's going to be out there and they can't use third persons to check and they're just going to be cuddled away in a room. So we'll just have to see. Oh, this is really interesting. Players may now re-enter games if they've been disconnected mid-game. So that will help duos, squads, and all of them games where they don't you don't just have to abandon games if one of your teammates like gets disconnected. They can hopefully get back into the game, but hopefully people don't use that to cheat or anything like that. We'll, we'll have to see. Okay, so now we are, are on to items and vehicles. Added a lower rail attachment slot to the SKS. Oh, so that's pretty interesting. So what will they add to the SKS? They said they're adding a lower rail attachment slot to the SKS. So you know how like on like M416s and like scars, how they have like the grips on the bottom? I think it's that. I'm not too sure. And the highlight of this whole August 1st update in items and vehicles, you may now honk a car horn when sitting in the driver's seat with the left mouse click. Oh God. We definitely needed that one right there. 
decrease the chance of vehicle explosion after the vehicle gets stuck in objects. Thank God, because I, there's been too many physics with the vehicles freaking out. Like, there's been people blowing up. You just barely drive the vehicle into, like, a wall or something. The vehicle feels like it's about to just blow up on you. It's, it's crazy. All right, on to the next part of the segment where you are talking about the UI of the August 1st update. And I've seen a few cool things about this. Uh, they added a colorblind mode, whatever that's going to be. I'm not too sure. But I did hear something pretty interesting about this last night is that somebody was talking about colorblind and it was in another game and people use colorblind in the other game to give them advantage. So it's like everybody uses it if they're like serious about the game, I suppose. So maybe this might give an advantage i'm not too sure hopefully it doesn't break the game and another thing is is that they added a new option to display helmet vest and backpack equipped to hud ui and add a new option to display all equipped weapons on the right of the screen so this to me sounds like they're they are invested a lot of time in the first person mode because that's where I think it would be helpful. It's like when you, you know, you're first person, you can't see your person, but I'm not too sure. We'll just have to see. I'm really excited for first person. I think it will be a completely new thing to add on to this game and it will make the life of this game longer, which is, which is always good. You, you want, you know, a bigger bang for your buck for the game. That's, that's the good stuff. Okay, so into the next thing. So we have bug fixes, and I love how the first thing they have up here is partially, partially fix client crash issues. Pretty interesting, but I read through a few of these things, and it's actually pretty funny. You may not use a con consumable in vehicles underwater. I would actually do that. Like if I was wanting to cross like through like the little river on one side of the map, I would actually drive my dossy in the car, and then if I needed the hill, I would actually like hill in the water. It was it was hilarious. And then eliminated bombing outside a red zone. Maybe that's like something where people are dying outside the red zone, and and they're just close enough to it, I'm not too sure. But nothing really too serious right here, but just a few things here and there that people might would understand. But it says, finally, this will be my last dev blog for a while as due to the fact I will be traveling extensively over the coming months, I will be unable to post with ease. The dev blog will now be handled by the community team. See you in game, players unknown. So that's the August 1st update. And I thought it was pretty damn decent that you know they're always coming in with a bunch of updates and this one was pretty big but not as big as the last one so but we do have a lot of different things to come in you know the future i mean we still have the vaulting system different game modes optimizations on the internet deal of it and just like the computer part so we have a lot of stuff ahead of us but if you did like this video Make sure to like, subscribe right down below because this is the end of the video. This is the good stuff. That That's all the update stuff. So I think this is going to be a piece, piece out for me. So yeah, you know, we just checking up on the updates and stuff on Player Unknown Battleground. Seeing what other stuff we can expect. So I'm going to do the sweetest combat roll. Get the hell out of here. Ah! I landed on my girl, I'm sorry. <laughs> I died. You died. But see everybody and yeah. Have a good old time. Bye. See see ya.